Hi, welcome. I am in the process of testing out a new ISO with the new Calamaris. And just now somebody ha uh, says on Telegram that he has problems with Atmix D and GNOME and Atmix B GNOME is just working fine, but GDM is not working. So why not make another video about Atmix D? Because I do think Atmix D is once you get past a certain knowledge, right, then it is really super in the sense that it gives you all and really all the freedom you can possibly dream of. So this is for me the test. A new Calamaris is out just 24 hours ago, even less I think, and uh, everything is working fine. Tested at Linux ISO, this is at Linux D ISO. So Calamaris is not from us, it's from Adrian, Adrian and his team here. And um, we use it of course because it's a super way to conveniently drop everything you're gonna need on an operating system on your hardware on your ssd that's maybe the best idea that's the fastest way to go so you can choose lots of things um, kernels and all that but normally you just skip this thing unless you know what you're doing and you say i want to have um well uh, LTS or I want to have hard or Zen or NVIDIA. That's that's getting too technical maybe. So I just go over uh, the things that I'd like to have in a test environment. This is virtual box, right? Sound don't, don't do not bother with sound and samba and all that. So people just recently asked me uh, what should I select in here? Well, basically the top level. This right? This and it will work. This and it will work. This and it will work and so on. Right, just the top level. We don't want you to go and figure out what all these things is, or just click it and uh, package too much. Well, whatever, right? If it works, it's just fine. It has to be a convenient thing, uh, a computer and operating system. It shouldn't be a bother, just work. And um, off we go for the next one. So the issue was GDM, he had problems with GDM, and what do we have? Just pseudo Pacman minus S GDM. And the wallpaper to have something nice when otherwise it's a, back, a black background is not, not nice, right? First impressions do matter. Next, and GDM is together with GNOME. So these two guys belong together. You might consider not to take GNOME Extra. That's something that you should have a look at. Let me go and have a look with you together. So this is Chromium. And we type Arch Gnome Extra. That's like a good winner, I think. Group details. So this is what you get. Uh, this one is the only one I really need. Deconf Editor, um, Evolution, Mail, all these games, things, maybe you don't need them at all. So do an installation with Gnome. Do an installation with Gnome Extra. See what you prefer to have with or without GNOME Extra. So a lot of games in there. So I don't mind, it's a virtual box, right? And that's a drop down in terminal, some fonts and our stuff, right? Our Linux stuff. This is the soul, the heart, the theme. And this particular person asked on Telegram to get rid of the branding. Now, I'm not sure what he means with branding, but of course we are our Linux. Uh, by that I mean when we open a terminal and we go to RxVT, okay, we have the branding, right? This is the branding of NeoFetch. So that's still there. What I assume he wants to know is what if we did this? This means we don't want to look at the settings of our colleagues at all. So if you just say, give me Arch Linux with a minimum of packages. Well, this should be more correct as a minimum. Let's do this, right? You can always see the games later, so you know what a minimal one is. So if you do GNOME and these setups, that's just a font, that's nice. And and I think we need it for the Quake because I chose, well, I chose this font for Quake, right? But um, if you want to have a really Arch Linux feeling as if you would install Arch Linux phase 5 and install it that way, you'll get that as well if you deselect anything 
from Arc Linux. And the same goes for all the others, right? Deeping without the settings of Arc Linux is not this. That's this. So it that's why I say this this Arc Linux D gives you a freedom. It's it's like choosing your Lego blocks and say, I'm gonna puzzle and piece it together and not that, yes that, not that, and so on. So these are the desktops. You can actually add more desktops, but okay, I can know. Let's try it out. That is the Team Viewer. So Team Viewer is nice. You can install Team Viewer, but Argo Linux Team Viewer is without fuss. It's gonna work. It has um, different. Um, well, we th we thought it through. What you need to have a working functional uh, Team Viewer and all the rest. So communication stuff. Let's just skip all these things as we just want to see if it works. So the last thing, maybe a little word for that. Um, when we test, we usually, as us as developers, right, dev as developers, that's the only thing we install and all the rest we just jump over, right? Um, except maybe for a light DM and then a desktop, but basically the rest we jump over. Software can always install more software but this is the way to communicate, to search, to make screenshots and all that. So it's practical stuff. I'm not going to reuse it or for use this thing. Not now. Belgian. So you see what a minimal one is, right? Erase disk. You can have big swap, smaller swap, super swap, right? But the no swap is my option always. But um, the other day I had a one terabyte SSD and I gave it a hibernate so who cares right it's just in my case was it 17 gigabytes less so who cares when you have one terabyte so that's the choice I have 16 gigabytes memory so it's um, enough room for any operating system all right so let's I don't care what we take actually now but Let's do this. You can also encrypt it if you want to. Put in your password here and here and done. And it's encrypted. And off we go. Who am I? And off we go. Now I'm gonna shut down. I mean, I'm not me, I'm gonna shut down or shut up and um, come back when we have it installed. So see you in a bit. All right, it's finished. Restart now, it says. All right. And since the ISO is still in there, I just go down a few lines. Boot existing OS. That's grub for you. So you know the names, what it all is. You can change the grub look via the Arc Link Suite tool. And this might be strange. If the first time you ever see this, then it's already what's going on, right? But this is normal in Arc Linux D, right? You can decide four display managers. So you have to activate the one you like, you want. And we've chosen GDM. So sudo systemctl enable me please GDM. That's it. And now we sudo reboot or SR, which is a bit faster than sudo reboot now gdm says oh look i've got to work I have, I have to get to work right because we have enabled it and we get gdm and that's this look okay so eric is here and i'm gonna log in as eric and this is the look of arch linux this has nothing to do with us we did not choose the style, we did not choose the wallpaper, nor the cursors, nor there is no application whatsoever. So yeah, let's see applications. So there are stuff from Arch Linux. I believe we had eight. We've, we've done the exercise, we've done uh, our work. Let's do a terminal. Let's see if that's still correct. Minus remove Arch Linux. So one, two, three, four four five six seven eight nine so nine packages are on this system and that's it all the rest is on arch Linux. so basically 
this might be even called, I don't know, 98% Arsenite, right? Check out the packages, you do the, the math, the math, here, 963. So you divide uh, 9, divide, divide, uh, blah, blah, divide 9 by um, 900 and so on, 63, and you know the percentage, right? It's nothing. So with this 1%, we have um, enough for your system, the keyring, welcome app, wallpapers, you can get rid of wallpapers, so one less, and, and so on. So system, NeoFetch does this thing, if you don't want the branding this here, I will just delete everything that has to do with NeoFetch. But basically, we have a Arch Linux system, an Arch look, and of course everything is available, so let's have a look. Stuff, general stuff that comes with GNOME, I didn't choose to install cheese. It's inside GNOME. The package to look back my minus s GNOME. It's in there. Just arch wiki it. Or search it on Google, right? So just do two of these pointers here. Utilities a little bit more in there as well. I can scroll down. This I can't read, which is not my doing. All right, it's arch Linux. Utilities, videos, settings. Ooh, settings are interesting always, right? Bluetooth, background, notification, search. This is the look now on this system. If you do not have a theme like Arc theme, like most of our desktops, we prefer the Arc theme. And there we go. You have yourself an operating system. It's now up to you to install more because I did not install anything for sound. But some of these guys, some of these desktops included. So without selecting it in Calamares, it's in the package. It's in GNOME. Uh, because of course we do not control what's, whatever is on there. So this is the web. And um, no, Arch Linux. Let's have a look. GNOME. And a group maybe. Oh, the, the group. Okay. The group details. So when you type sudo pacman minus s gnome, this is going to be installed. We have absolutely zero control over what's in here. That's a group. Gnome terminal is here, gnome software is here, gnome session, all lots of gnome things, and the control center here, calculator. So here is cheese. So these things come along because you typed gnome five letters right and that's it okay i hope i've helped a few people understand uh, the power of um, arcmix d and of course our uh, user on telegram this is what i would call a non-branded uh, arcmix d we have a gnome which is going to look out of the box like it's from arch linux all right have fun